Excuse me. No. Where did modesty go? My goal is to stay away from being called provocative, seductive, or sexy. In other words, a pick me girl. This is why I have a problem with the motto, modest is hottest. Um, no, <laughs> I don't want to be sexualized or objectified. But the problem is, we live in an over sexualized culture where OnlyFans is somehow empowering. Many women feel like wearing less means more freedom when it doesn't. Wearing less will get you more attention, but is it good at attention? Many pause here, ladies. Do not buy eye makeup at these type of stores. I got an eye infection. This never happens to me, so don't do it. See, I want us to see ourselves, our body, the way that Jesus sees it. Because there's a Bible verse that talks about how we are the temple of Christ. We are the church of Christ where the Holy Spirit resides. And what do you do when you pass a church? You admire it because it's beautiful. That is the way that we should be running from sexual sin, making sure we have a healthy lifestyle. But also, I want you to consider this, sister. How are you dressing the body that God has given you? Because if you are dressing in a way intentionally, so that someone looks at you and lusts after you or desires you, that is displeasing to the Lord. But when I'm getting ready, I'm going to keep that in mind. And I will intentionally wear something that brings less attention. Why? Because I want people to focus on who I am as a person. We have this conception as a society that if we are proud of something, we should show it off. And so we think that it's because of insecurity, because we're not proud of our body. And that is not the case. I want to make clear, I'm not saying that you should go out into the world and not desire to be complimented. Who doesn't appreciate when someone compliments their dress or says that their hair looks really cute today? Those are cute to hear. I like those. I'm talking about the inappropriate, gross, quote unquote, compliments. The ones that are inappropriate, make you feel uncomfortable and are coming from a sexual and lustful place. The Bible says, but I say to you that everyone who looks at a woman with lust has already committed adultery with her in his heart. Jesus himself said that. But if you notice, this Bible verse doesn't specify what the woman is wearing. So then the next question would be, does modesty stop lust? No, <laughs> clothes don't stop lust, but naturally revealing or tight clothes can cause lustful thoughts. In reality, lust has always been and will always be a problem of the heart. You can be covered from head to toe and someone can still lust after you. So what does this mean for us women? Where did modesty go? This does not mean that modesty is not important and lust does not exist. Lust can be overcome with accountability and self-control, but women also need self-control and accountability. And this is where I have my big sister moment. And I ask you, are you dressing immodestly? If you are, what is the reason? What is your intention? I don't think I am better than anyone for dressing modestly. Modesty is something that God must convict you about. I didn't just wake up one day and say, I'm gonna dress modest today. No, it was a journey. I don't think I can pinpoint the exact moment in which God started to change this area in my life, but I do know that when I understood that God hates lust, my mind shifted. 
Because why would I intentionally trust in a way that encourages the very thing that God dislikes, which is lust? Lastly, is dressing modest hard? Yes, finding modest clothes is hard because everything has slits and cuts everywhere. I will be sharing a video on my modesty journey, but if you stayed till the end, please like this video and subscribe. I am going all in this year because I am passionate about it. Now, if you are in the season of waiting, I highly recommend you watch the video I have linked. I will see you in my next one. Don't forget to be kind, be wise, and have faith.